What's up, Pirates? Explorer Ranger here. Welcome back for another episode of Salt 2, and look at that sunrise. Beautiful. Uh, my gosh, I, okay, got so many things, you guys. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. So, first off, we're on a King Pirate King's Island. So we've got a couple islands around here that never seen before. So I want to check this island out. There's another type of island. Uh, that one right there, way off in the distance from the merchant update. I want to see that island there as well too. Uh, we've got a new ship to build. We're going to do that here momentarily. Uh, we've also got some quests to do. There's a marshlands island on the other side of this king's island that, man, it's starting to get bright. Uh, that is part of a quest where we need to go find a spider queen, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, so much stuff. But before we jump in, you guys, there's just one thing, bit of information that I want to share. So please, whatever you do, don't jump forward. Hear me out. If you have been playing this game for a while, I was off camera farming for a little bit, trying to get a whole bunch of materials and level up for uh, being able to build the next ship. And in doing so, I went back to a bunch of these islands in this big cluster here, which was the beginning islands that I started out on way way back when i first started playing what i found was i hadn't been back to any of these islands in the last few updates and in doing so in running around and collecting materials i finally got enough for hitting the levels to be able to farm the metal of platinum and ebony so i had been keeping track of a bunch of the islands where there were some of these nodes i couldn't get I was, my plan was to come back to return to them and get some of them after i hit the level well i did and when I did, I went back, I found that a whole bunch of new metal nodes had spawned and I collected a ton of metal. So I recommend if you guys are playing this game, if you haven't been back to some of these islands since the last few updates, go back and you will find a whole bunch of metal both on the islands and inside the caves. I even went back in the caves, you guys, and I found a ton of metal had been uh, popped back up metal nodes in there. Also, I also managed to get a whole bunch of purple, the, the epic level uh, weapons. So if you know what triggers this, uh, please drop a comment down below. I don't actually know, but I don't know if it was because I hit a certain level in the game, uh, but I was finding that within the caves, all of the enemies had respawned. The treasures hadn't, all the items were still gone, but metal nodes had come back and guys had respawned. And I found a couple beautiful, as you can see, epic purple pieces of gear from just some of those beginning caves, just going back and killing those guys again. So yeah, very cool. So I recommend if you guys haven't done that, go back and check out those caves and let's get on with today's episode. So this pirate island, I haven't been to one of these yet, you guys. I, I didn't even know what this was. And I saw it off in the distance, and I was like, well, let's go kill some pirates. I'm, I'm game for that. Oh, oh, oh come on, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That guy's down. There we go, we'll block that one. There we go, goodbye. Okay. Now, this is the little encampment here that I saw. And then over there, you can see a little bit of a ship mast sticking out. And that's where the bulk of this is going to be, so... I want to head up over to that side. We should probably do a little bit of healing first. All right, let's go take out some pirates, you guys. Oh, yeah, we've got a few of them here. King Servant. Yep, come on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love the block mechanic. Now that's beautiful. There we go. Yeah, the arrow guys are just better to charge. Oh, I found these guys, too, on the island. I cleared out the rest of the island and then came here. These little timber wolves, I think they're called. Um, they're pretty neat. They remind me of foxes. Elite captain. Oh, baby. All right. Let's see, Mr. Elite captain. What you're all about. Oh. Oh, you hit okay. Oh, I see some purple. Oh, yes. All right. Uh. Picking up lots of purple items now. Yeah, 10 strength. Wow. And we'll eat some food, get ourselves a buff. Why not? So these timber wolves, they kind of remind me... Oh, trained wolf. Sorry. Trained wolf. They remind me a little bit of the foxes, only they don't run away. They actually attack you. 
Can you block? Oh, you can block their damage too. Okay, cool. Ebony, and we can get this now. We are of level. I love it. There we go. I love how skeletons have potions on them. That's great. Makes no sense, but that's okay. Ooh, what are you? Bounty Hunter. Well, that's pretty cool. There we go. Do you have anything? Nothing good on you. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, I think if I try and grab that, you'll probably come after me. So, King Servant, let's get you out of here. Nice. Oh, I got time to grab this now. There we go. Before he even makes it to me. Is that, guy, that guy's not even coming after me. Okay. And you're just going to hang out now? You're stupid? You didn't realize what was going on? Forgot all about me, hey? Okay. Alright, what do we got going on up here? Beautiful. Bow and some arrows, I like that. Yes, I will use the lockpick. Right, what have we got here? Uh, a miner's guide. Is this just talk about? Yeah. All right, what have, what have we got up here? We've got a you, whatever you are. Pirate King, let's take this guy out. If he doesn't drop a quest, I've got to assume that he gives a... There's a quest somewhere in the game to come fight him. Oh my gosh! Oh, holy crap! His oh, blocking him takes a lot of stamina. Wow! Ah, yeah. Whoo! Holy, that drained my entire stamina bar. All right, what do you drop? Dungeon key recipe. Dungeon key shard. Oh, interesting. Okay. Immortal King's Blade. <gasps> King's Galleon Blueprint. Look at that epic ship! Oh my goodness! I can only imagine what that's going to take to build. Pirate Captain's Key and another of that right hand blade. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, we now have access to be able to unlock. Where's that pattern? Where's that pattern? Right here. King's Galleon Blueprint. Large ship 32 knots. Oh, that's epic, you guys. All right, I'm super excited for that. Shack door key required. All right, where is our shack key? And I also, is that, oh, there's the shack key. Okay, great. Pirate captain's key, we are gonna use that. We got uh, Dijin's wish recipe. I'm not sure what that is yet. Expensive hunter's mask. Let's see inside here. Kind of goodies do you have for me? Some more basic materials. Ooh, some gold ingots and a scuffed diamond. I like it. I'll take that. Can we get on that ship? I'm not sure. We can. Okay. Is there anything on this ship, though? This looks yeah, blocked off. Can't get in there. It doesn't really look like there's anything exciting on here. Okay. So we'll go this way. Ran out of stamina. Oh. Ah! How awesome would that have been if we got taken out by a wolf in the end? Sheesh. Okay. Uh, we're going to come over to here. Door. There we go. King's Dungeon Key Required. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out that one, you guys. But for now, I'm going to head back to the ship and take a look at our spoils. Oh. Okay, so we've got some items to go through here, you guys. So let's. Perfect. A bunch of potions and some craftables in that one. We have a few of these treasure chests along the way. Ooh, new ring. Ooh, new eternal pummeler. Epic mace. 3 to 17 bludgeoning damage. Strength and dexterity. I like that as well. 
Pathfinder's Fate recipe. Epic quality bow. Ooh, I'm excited to check that one out. Okay, so, so we've got a few things. We've got the Drifter's Virtue recipe. Uh, weaving Station recipe. Forge recipe. Wow. The one that I've been waiting for. King's Galleon Blueprint. Let's learn that one. King's Galleon. Alright, so this stuff here we can make, as you can see, because I've got the sparkling sandpaper already with the intent of making the uh, Battlemaster ship, so the rare quality ship. Um, we should be able to make platinum now. We can make this. It's just these. So ruin cloth and wormwood plank. I think we're still a little ways off of these, you guys. There's the epic bow. Oh, we've actually got the rugged horns, and we could probably make the rest of this. 1 of 12 piercing, 10 strength. Odd to put strength on a bow, um, as it's not really the stat that you need to do more damage with bows, but strength is always good, especially for melee. So 1 to 12. Our bow currently is 1 to 8 with 6 agility. Hmm, okay. Tempting, tempting, tempting. What else is in here? Pathfinder's Fate, 1 to 12 piercing, 10 dexterity. There we go. Okay, now that's more uh, to the equivalent of, of being a bow stat. So that one, we actually could probably make that one too. Okay. Actually, that Wormwood Plank, what does that require? Uh, okay, so we need level 40 in order to make it. We've got the materials to make it. We do just need the levels. Okay, cool. All right. King's Dungeon Key. So we need some more Dungeon Shards. So I'm going to assume that we've got to find some more of those types of areas, find some more of these shards, and we'll have to come back to unlock that door, you guys. So that's going to be a little bit still yet. All right, you guys. Now that we've checked out this Pirate King's Island, and we checked out all of our goodies and spoils. Back to the task at hand. I want to build and show off, like I was saying earlier, the Battlemaster's Voyager. So first off, I want to say a thank you to everybody that answered the community post poll that I put out. Uh, I wanted to get your guys' opinion as to what ship to build, either the Battlemaster's Voyager or the Marauder's Guild, which um, vessel here, Marauder's Vessel, which you get from completing the Marauder's Guild quest line. And you guys unanimously had picked the Battlemaster's Voyager. This ship was very cool looking, and I got a couple of patterns. Uh, it wasn't super hard to find. I found one inside of a chest just on a random island, and I actually found a couple more just dropped off of killing some pirates out in the wild. So pretty easy to come by. I've got almost all the materials here, and I just wanted to touch base on making all this stuff, you guys. So I went out and did a ton ton of farming to get to this level so the way that this works is that all of your different items your tables so your cartographer station to be able to make stuff uh the woodworking station your forge your loom so they work off of levels so if i was to come over let's say the loom here everything that is in uh great which is common goes from level zero to ten basically your next level is green, which goes from 10 to 20, then 20 to 30 with blue, and 30 to 40 with the epic level purple stuff here. So you need to craft a bunch of items to get to your next level requirements in order to build the stuff that you want to build. That being said, I had to do all of these different levels to get to this point on each of the different stations. So we now have the dark resin, we've got sparkling sandpaper from the woodworking, we have gold ingot from the forge. Just these last two, which we have the ability to make. So I'm going to go make seven silk, and I'm going to go make ten sturdy timber for us here. So sturdy timber is in this one here. Silk requires us. We needed these ones from before. Fur pelts from killing things. Uh, hemp from finding around on the different islands. And our fine cloth, which was made in here. And now we can convert it to seven silk. Craft one, yes, there we go. And let's go drop this bad boy in the water. I am excited to see how this ship looks, you guys. 
And we are going to go place. Woo! Aha, right on top of us. Oh, baby, look at that thing. Wow. Yep. Yep, very cool. I like the look of that. Also, you guys, another little tip if you didn't know this as well, too. Uh, if you wanted to take screenshots in this game, uh, you can actually, I found out, if you hit F2 on your keyboard, you can actually turn the HUD right off, and so you can get yourself some good screenshots. And then if you want to put it back on, just hit F2 again, and away you go. Uh, yeah, no, very cool ship. So, I mean, it's very similar to the other one. I will say that, so it's going to be fairly, fairly similar deck rating, but it should be a little faster, I believe. Yeah, so 28 versus 30 knots. Okay. Both of which are large ships. All right, I like it. All right, retrieved all of my belongings, and we are going to drop them down on the new ship here. Let's see here. Excellent. And forge. Now, my real question is, did everything stay inside the chest when I picked it up? Ah, ha, ha. Yes, it did. All right. Beautiful. There's all of our stuff. I like it. All right, you guys, and I realize that's going to be all the time that I've got for today's episode. So we started with the sunrise and we're ending with the sunrise. So pretty neat. Uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to do a little bit more work off camera to finish decorating up the ship. And then next episode, we are going to hit up that island right over there, uh, see what it's all about. And then we're going to stop on our way on the other side of this island at the marshlands to see if we can pick up that spider queen quest before we head all the way back down to this area here to turn in several of our quests so with that make sure like i said at the beginning of this episode if you haven't already gone back in the last few updates uh to your starting islands go check some of those out and get yourself a bunch of metal uh with that i hope you guys all have an awesome day thanks so much for hanging out with me and we will catch you guys in the next video